Hi there. My name is John Holden. I graduated from the University of Connecticut in 1992 with a bachelor's degree in ornamental horticulture. In 1993, I started Land Designs Unlimited. I design, install, and maintain landscapes for homeowners in Upper Fairfield County, Connecticut. Today, I'd like to share my passion with you. How you doing today, folks? You know, I'm at this house and I was filming some of the other plants on the property, and I wanted to show you a little bit of a lesson about renewal pruning. Now, at this house two years ago, they had some pretty heavy machinery come through to do some work uh, back in the yard over this area. And what we had to do was transplant these viburnums behind me. And I don't know if you can see the difference, but this is a double file viburnum. It's about uh, eight feet tall. It's just coming into bloom. And you know, this is how it looks. And I just wanna show you some other double files over to the side here. Now these over here are the same plant as well and you see how they're a little bit taller, a little bit fuller. But let me come back to where we just were. What happened was I had to dig these double files out so that they could get the machines in, and in the process of digging them out, they were probably as big as those other ones were. I, um, you know, I ended up actually cutting them back, and what's known as renewal pruning, where you basically cut the shrub back to three to four feet and let it regrow. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is just like the most incredible example of how functional and how well renewal pruning works. You know, if you take a look, you can see that from about this point of the shrub, I don't know if you can see, and I'll move the camera later, but from about this point in the shrub, all the new foliage is, you know, finger width or smaller. And this is in two years. When you're gonna be renewal pruning, you wanna make sure that your plant is actively growing, your plant's not diseased, your plant is healthy, it's not like the middle of a drought. Uh, the key is you, you really want to do this, this type of pruning you know, when your plant is most likely to grow anyways. So that basically turns into early spring. Now these viburnums, I think I end up doing it like in May or June. That just is when it happened to work out. But you know, I really wouldn't recommend doing a heavy renewal pruning later in the summer. I would stick to uh, early spring if you can. Now what types of plants could you renewal prune? Well this is a double file viburnum. I would certainly do it to like a Japanese holly. Uh, rhododendron, mountain laurel, those are all plants that I would renewal prune. What you do is you just uh, you take a look at the shrub. First you're going to go through and cut out any dead foliage and then you'll just cut the whole plant back and what I'd recommend is cut the whole plant back to maybe three to four feet from the ground. I'm probably even up to five feet. You know if you can cut the plant back and if you still see some green buds coming off the uh, off the branches, off the stems, that's great. But you know, a lot of plants, and, and this viburnum, I'm not sure I left many buds on at all, they're gonna re-sprout. Again, if they're healthy, you know. So, so what you're gonna do is just go through and, and cut back all the foliage, and, and even a shrub like the ones over there, or this one, you would just take the whole thing down to three to four feet. Get the dead foliage out, make clean cuts, and then just give it a chance to re-sprout. Make sure it gets plenty of water, maybe a little bit of fertilizer, and let it re-sprout and you know, give it another year or two and the shrub is gonna look this nice. I mean, that's a heck of a lot more reasonable than uh, putting a new shrub in. And it's also, um, you know, I think it's a pretty nice looking shrub. We're having a little bit of trouble with some of the larger viburnums. We, uh, you know, that's a lot of plant and a very small ball. It's a very hot time of the year with a lot of foliage. And then as you see, we have the three viburnums, which I had dug out, which I cut back severely, and they are gonna flush out. If you take a look, you can see the viburnums there that we cut back hard are starting to get some new growth. All that new growth is coming in, and by next spring, you won't even know that we cut those back so hard. The viburnum that we pruned back quite severely has a lot of nice new growth coming on it. So you gotta admit that that was pretty cool, right? Well, you know, thanks a lot for watching today, folks. And, um, you know, I hope if you have some overgrown shrubs in your yard, you'll give renewal pruning a chance. And I do just wanna say that, uh, you know, I'd recommend you cut your shrubs three to four feet from the ground or even a little bit higher and wait for that new growth to come as opposed to cutting them right to the ground. 
I know when I was a kid, I tried this on, um, on some mountain laurels and I cut them to the ground and they basically never came back. So my theory is, you know, cut them three to four feet from the, the, the ground, see where the new foliage comes. If some of the branches die, you know, come back the following spring, cut out the dead wood, and then, uh, and then just let them grow. But um, I really think that uh, renewal pruning is a great option if you have some overgrown shrubs and you just want them, you love the shrubs, you just want them smaller. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, folks. For more landscaping tips and tricks, please visit my blog at landdesigns.com. Have a wonderful day.